When I hear people tell me they don't know what to read, it kills me because I'm amazed by the beautiful, funny, searching, moving books that are being written. I just think we're in a really rich time now and so it's a great privilege to be able to read for a living and edit other people's reviews and help people find books they might enjoy. Every book section in the country has to deal with this problem. You get tons and tons of books, more books than you can imagine. Uh, they just pour in. Uh, you cannot take a day off or you'll be overwhelmed. So you've got this problem. What do you do with the books you're not going to review? Uh, we don't have any place to store them, uh, so they have to be given away. So we put them out on the book cart and call the staff and hope that they'll take them as quickly as possible. We get hundreds and hundreds of packages of books. Some of them are great and we're going to review them. Some of them, they're paperbacks that come out and we've already reviewed those. So after I have that book world editors look through the books, anything that we have remaining, I will put half of them on the cart and then the, we do also donate some. So I try to make sure it's an even balance because, you know, donating books are good too. If you see me around with a cart coming back with a stack of books, probably you should check the cart in about two to three hours. The book cart is something that I stumbled upon saw a rack of books. I get here really early at 6 a.m. in the morning and they were just lying there and I was like, are these free to take? Eventually I found out that they were. So a couple times a week I make a visit to the book cart and the book cart has built my library collection at home. I think what I love about books in general is just being able to hold those words, like just feeling the paper between your hands. You load the book cart full of books and then you send out a message and uh, you know, a swarm of employees instantly come and uh, take all the books away. The fact that the book cart's always empty just means that the people at the Post were just hungry for knowledge. Which shows you know, just how curious they are, how intelligent they are, how eager they are to read. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very encouraging, it's very fun.